Hello and welcome to Minutes That Matter. Well, turn in your Bible with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 12. And as you're turning there, allow me to start with this. When most of us think about suffering, we think of it as a negative in our life. Now, I'm not saying that this isn't entirely untrue. However, I would suggest to you that the verses that we're going to be looking at not only tell us how we must view suffering in our lives, but that suffering brought to us by God is actually an act of grace in our life. And so, if you're there, follow along as I look at verses 7 through 10. So, to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from becoming conceited. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weakness, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Well, yesterday, we looked at grace to avoid bitterness. And today, and through this week, I want to look at grace in our suffering. And here's what I want us to see first. Suffering grace reveals our condition. Now, if you're still there, I want you to look up at the context of these verses and see what they're set in. Look all the way up in verses 5 and 6. How does Paul describe himself and thus describe us? He describes himself and us as weak. In the original language, it rightly means inability or quantitative state of weakness or helplessness. Now, tuck that away for a moment because we're going to look at the next point and then talk about both at the end. I want us to also see that suffering grace keeps us humble. Look again at verse 7. The word thorn here is also better translated stake, which reveals the level of suffering that Paul was going through. Friends, it's one thing to deal with a thorn that's gotten under your skin and an entirely different situation if you've been impaled by a stake. But note this. From where did the suffering come? Now carefully read before you answer. It came from God. This was a sovereign act of God that came with a specific purpose for Paul's life. Now, who did God use? Satan. Has God ever done this before? Yeah, with Job. So, what do we understand concerning suffering in our life? Nothing that comes at us does so outside of God's sovereign will for our life. Nothing surprises him. Nothing catches him off guard. Nothing leaves him wringing his hands and wondering, well, what do I do next? Now, let's kind of run point one and two together. In what ways does suffering grace reveal our weakness and keep us humble? Well, it reveals our fragile nature. It reveals our inability to control our environment or even what happens to our bodies. It reveals our inability to control others or the outcome of any event. It reveals our complete impotence. It reveals our need to go somewhere to someone outside of ourselves for help. It is with this last point needing to go outside of ourselves for help that we're going to look at in our next episode. But until then, allow me to ask, what has been your view of suffering, that, uh, the suffering that you've been walking through, be it physical, relational, economic, environmental, you name it? Have you seen it through the lens of God's grace? That he's using it for a divine and eternal purpose in your life? We hope you'll join us for our next episode as we look at what can be done when we react to suffering through the knowledge of God's purpose for our life. And so, from all of us at Minutes That Matter, have a blessed day.